Okay, and now we're going to change change gears just a little bit. All the examples we've done up to this point basically started with an exponential equation. But now what we're going to get into is where we actually start in logarithmic form. So a little bit of uh, some help here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the definition of logarithms to help us come up with our solutions for these. So kind of keep that in mind. It should be uh, some nice little fun stuff here. All right, let's see. Um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're trying to solve for x. So as you can see, we're, we've basically just learned a new tool. The way we're going to get rid of adding 3 is to subtract 3 because that's the inverse operation. The way we get rid of log base 4, well, that's right. We're going to have to exponentiate. So what we're going to do is we're going to exponentiate with a base of 4 on both sides. And again, just a reminder of what exponentiation means. Basically means you're taking both sides of your equation and raising it to the uh, exponent of 4. So this will actually cancel. The reason we, it'll cancel is the base of our uh, exponential function, or exponential expression, and the base of the log are the same. So this will cancel and leave us x plus 3 is equal to 4 to the second power. But we know 4 to the second power is 16. And then now we can go ahead and subtract 3. So again, since they're inverse operations, we know that uh, we, we kind of know how to do inverse operations, even though this is a pretty new concept to us. Now one thing that you have to check for is you have a, have a chance whoops, for extraneous uh, solutions. Okay, so we need to go back and check. And what we cannot do is we cannot take the log of a negative number, nor can we take the log of zero. So after we get our answer, we're going to take this and plug it back in. So when you do that, 13 plus 3 is 16. Log base 4 of 16 will work just fine. In fact, we can actually check it. 4 to what power will give me uh, 2? Or 4 to what power will give us 16? And that answer will be 2. So make sure you're checking your answers whenever you start with the logarithm. Looking at another example, uh, again, we're trying to solve for x. It's being multiplied by 2. We're taking the natural log of it, and we're multiplying by 3. So first, we're going to get rid of that 3. So again, just using the inverse operation. All right, so nothing new, division by 3. Now I need to get rid of the natural log. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exponentiate with the base of e. Make both sides uh, the exponent of my base of e. And this will cancel on this side and leave me 2x is equal to e to the fourth. And then I can go ahead and divide both sides by 2. When I do this, I'll get x is equal to e to the fourth divided by 2. And of course, if they want a decimal answer, we can oblige by just typing this into our calculator. So I'll turn it on. I want to do e to the fourth. OK. Quit. So I type in second natural log and it brings up e. It already has it written as an exponent. So e to the fourth, and then divide that by two. So as you can see, we get an answer of 27 decimal two nine nine. I think did I round it right? Two nine yeah zero. Okay. So that's the decimal equivalent for that answer.